Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Hotline Miami. Secret lore ending video where I need to find the last remaining lore bits and pick them up and maybe try to look at some masks as well, but I'm focusing more on the lore. For example, chapter four tension. There is a lore bit that I need to find here. Let's do it. Chapter four tension. Tip, enemies are predictable. Oh right, we also get the ability to uh, open all of, uh, or to use any of our masks. I believe Rasmus, an eye for secrets, makes the secrets easier to find. So we're gonna go for that as well. Dude, I actually remember this level. Right, I can't leave the door once I open the door. I remember this level. There should be a dog. I, got, I did forget how to pick things up though. I was gonna say there should be a dog. That jumps out of the freaking hallway very quickly. And indeed there was a dog. <laughs> now where the heck is this eye for secrets? Also, I never did figure out what P means on my mouse pointer. I don't see it right now though, but in theory it might show up at some point. Okay. How do you not hear that? It was the final enemy. <laughs> I apologize. All right, that time, you know, that's on me. All right, that time, I, uh, I tried. Okay, come on, come get me. Come on, stop trying to get me and get me. Since I kept picking up the weapon that had zero ammo. Okay. Jesus. It's always one guy that gets past you that becomes a problem. Okay. It's always the one guy that gets past you and the fact that the door. Okay. That was a little strange. The fact that the door kind of blocks their shots, and by their shots I mean like it blocks them. Straight up. Well, that was a little bit of a surprise. Uh, hey, you still have a gun. Now where is that final lore bit? It might not be on this floor, it might be on the next floor. This also might be the level where the um, SWAT team comes in, which will be very annoying if that is the case. So why don't we just grab shotgun and see how this goes. P means you can pick something up. Oh my god, that's what it means. <laughs> how long has he been playing Miami today, asks A5CAD. Uh, about 30 seconds. Well, no, about 3 minutes and 50 seconds if I'm looking at my uh, OBS counter. You know what? You got me. Fair and square. Not so fair, actually. There it is, it's in that room. And apparently this guy might have a mask for me, but I don't know how to get the mask, because as soon as you open up one of the doors, uh, the entire level explodes. Uh, lock on, bro. So, um, you know, cover your ears, I guess. Anything in there? Nope. Volume at 5% preemptively, says Connie. Good, good job. Hey. Got him? Okay. Now. I don't see a mask, so if that guy had the mask and he blew up, then I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> but I'm not here for masks, I'm here for lore. Okay, this has ammo in it. And if we get some... some no masks, I'm fine with that. Score-based mask? Oh, I'm never gonna get those then. 40,000 out of... 23,000. I thought there were a lot more digits on that one. 
Great, B+. Plus. Hello. I'm a bit worried about you, man. I know, you're lower now. Alright, we should be able to quit now and go to the next chapter. So that was four. Yep, we got the lore bit. Chapter five, we need the lore bit. Full house. I'm kind of just like playing Hotline Miami again, but it's a fun game, actually. I like having uh, the requirement of trying to find all the freaking lore and everything. Well, all the secrets. Secrets and lies. Hmm. Have to keep our eye out for the lore bits. Oh, it's right there, next to the table. It always seems to be like in a... It seems to always be like in a bathroom or something. Ooh. Hi guys. Uh, I wonder if I can actually get them to come here. Yes, I can. Hey. You know, I'm just gonna grab a gun. This seems to work well for me. Stage clear, or I don't know if we have to clear the whole stage. We might as well try, right? What the heck is this? Oh, just one throwing object. All right, you know, fair enough. It's not go to car, is it? Nah, upstairs. Oh, Connie also says there's a hidden mask here. There is, and I actually know where to get it. So why don't we grab that at the same time as we complete this level? You know what? Fair enough, I always forget about you. You know what? I need a little bit more ammo, I think. <laughs> Jesus, that's a lot of, lot of dudes. Oh my. Okay, well, the guy peeing apparently didn't see me or hear me. Why? Why can I not kill him? Oh my god, I need to I need to grab his weapon. Well, right now he has a freaking rifle that I missed with. Oh my god, we've done it. The hard part's over. <laughs> There's one guy just standing in that room not doing anything, except having a smoke. You think... I was gonna say, you think he's got a weapon? The answer is no, he does not have a weapon. He's just sitting there. Apparently this guy didn't even notice me at all. Also, that's a frying pan. What the heck? Okay, you know what? Look, if the game's not gonna give me the door opening, I guess I'm just gonna have to do it myself. Now, grab this. Leave the room. We got a lot of points. Uh, how do we leave? And then, we're gonna take a little bit of a detour on this level. There's even a helpful little arrow. Go here! Hey, I think I get it now. This, this whole thing, all that's happened, it's just a dream, right? It's all just a bad dream, isn't it? Cough, I knew it. I don't know who this guy is. Well, I, he's probably Jones, but he's Jones in, I don't know. Get, get, let, me leave, let me leave, please, thank you. You got chapter complete. Let's get out of here. That's not how I enter my car. Achievement unlock sewer al alligator. See you later. There's also a hidden achievement to wear that mask and come here again, says Connie. For some reason, we got Jones. I don't know what he does, but we got him. All right, next chapter should be like six. And I need the I need the dot here as well. There's gonna be a lot of these to find, but. What the alligator does. More gore. Uh, perfect. <laughs> Just give me the eye for secrets. Let me let me secrets and lies. Let me see them a little bit more easily. 
Hmm. Everyone here is very armed. Ah, there's guns. Wow, there's actually kind of a lot of people in there. That might be a little harder than I thought. Whoa! Freaking jerk! I think I got him, though. Who's left? No one? Doesn't say... Oh, there's actually a guy standing right there. Are you a fat guy? No, you were just at the table. You were having... Having a, a fine meal. And I came in and blasted you. Now, where the hell's the dot? It might be in this room. It might not be. Now we have to leave. I don't think it's on this floor. It might be. It might be under the gore, but... Oh, right. This level. Oh, what the heck? I have no ammo in my gun. Wait a minute. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> well, let's leave. Hello, friend. You're... you're... You're an important person. I got the dot. Why can I not shoot through the glass? Why are there so many guys in this room just standing very perfectly still? He is Taking a poop. <laughs> and I came in here and murdered that man. I can't go in there either. Well, I guess we'll just leave. Special glass. It's the same, like, color as the normal glass. You just can't shoot through it. Way to, to subvert your expectations, video game. A plus. That is not how that happens. You can say he est himself. <laughs> I can't say it though. I gotta, I gotta keep it clean <laughs> as much as I can, anyways. Chapter seven, got it. Chapter eight, don't have it. Push it. Variation is rewarding. Yeah, but not quite as easy. I don't quite remember this one. See the dance floor and also like oh there's a there's a mask right there Carl oh, I keep throwing my throwing my stuff is that like a mine or something oh my god freaking embarrassing at least they can't really hear anything because there's so much freaking noise. All right, we also have to be on the lookout for dots. If it's on this floor, I'm gonna hate life. I don't see the dots though. Hello, friend. Stage clear. I'm not gonna get a very high score hunting for secrets, but that's okay. You, you're an interesting one. It's not like I can actually kill you. You're, you're safe. You have a gun. I thought you just had a cigarette, after all. I see the dot. It's on the very far side of this room. Sometimes, you know, you just when you're actually paying attention, you can see it. It just takes a second. Stage clear. That was actually very fast. Oh, we're not done. Oh, we have to go down? I guess there's another little area here. I thought it was going to be the same location. That is incorrect. Oh, this is a shotgun. No! 
Oh, Jesus. You're dead. Dead meat. Yep, missed my shot. Oh, I thought the door was, why did I think the door was closed? Much better, much better, much better. There's another guy at the end of the hall, isn't there? Oh, there's over here on this side. Oh, I missed my shot. It's okay, we got the dot. All we gotta do now is just make it through the level once, I think. gun is out of ammo. How do we throw it? That's how we throw it. Try this side, you know? Wow! That was a very, uh, very lucky shot down the hallway. Now there's literally no music playing, even though we left the DJ alive. <laughs> so we got the mask and we got the, uh, the dot. Oh, excuse me. Whew. Big sneeze. New mask. Carl! Carl the... I was gonna say Carl the caterpillar. He is Carl the, uh... Not a caterpillar, that's more of a grasshopper. Should be George the Grasshopper. Well, no, George should be the monkey, even though it's not. Neighbors. Did it. Chapter 8. Did it. Chapter 9. Have not done it. Crackdown. Carl the Cricket. Okay, Cricket. Grasshopper. Similar. I don't know if they're actually similar. What do you do? Start with a drill. Right. Yeah, I remember this one. We gotta go here, grab that. And then we're out of ammo! It's not out of ammo, it just, you only get two uses. One, two. Then you have to pick up something else. I pre-member. <sighs> Luckily I know where that is in this room, you know? Got him. The drill is fun, says Connie. I swear I'm not a sociopath. Where's the dog? Saw a dog? Is it you? Must be you. Hey. Hey. All right. Stage clear. We could take a um, a bat, but you know I'm a I'm a gunman myself. How much freaking gun should I play? I didn't look at the at the level. I didn't look for the dots. That's my mistake. Hopefully it's up on this floor then, because if it's not, well, we're gonna have a bit of a problem on our hand. They're coming. Bing! I'm out of ammo. Yeah, this is the raid level, which is very annoying. This level is hard. And they're here. Yeah, I know, I'm dead. I think it's on floor one. You know what? I think I'm gonna, I think uh, just to, just to ensure that we're doing it correctly. We're gonna do a little bit of a, uh, a reset and we're gonna try Keep an eye out for it this time.
Who? Why does it prioritize picking up weapons that are completely out of ammo? The game absolutely loves doing that. Dude, it's gonna be hard. Finding the dot if it's on floor two. Or it might, o it might only appear on this floor when you're done with the upper floor. And this isn't John Wick. I can't kill all the enemies by using <laughs> a... Uh, a pistol when they're heavily, heavily armored. I don't see it. So it should be up here. The other question I have is um, when does the raid happen? You survived, even though I shot you. When does the raid happen? You know, does the. Why are you living? You know, does the raid happen uh, at a certain time or at a certain number of kills? There's the dot. It's all the way up there. So what we really should do... ...is go up there, I think. Wait for it. Give me a second. I got the dot. Now, I think if we get one more, not one more kill, maybe a couple more kills. Leave. No, go down! You fool! Just run. <laughs> you can't kill any of them. You just have to run. They've, they've got too much armor, too much protection. I'm surprised we did that so easily. <laughs> so many points, and yet it's only a C. All right. It's not Crackdown, is it? Probably just did that one. Chapter 10, hot and heavy. Tip, be fast. S tier is hard, man. You know, more power to anyone who's actually played this game so much that you are on, like, S tier maximum score on everything. Good freaking luck, my dude. I don't have a gun. You're gonna shoot me as soon as I walk around the corner. Ah, oh, they're gonna shoot me as soon as I walk around the corner. What the heck? He ran outside of the level. Did you see that? Yeah, they're coming. They're not very smart, but they're coming. Damn it. That's so disappointing, because it just means we gotta do it again. You know what? He's trying. Oh, that was so good for a second. We'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it. Right side first! I need to either get him with one swing, or... Uh... Dude, I hate the guys who have, like... HP. We can actually like live through a shot. Alright, we can we can start looking for the dot in a second. How did you guys not aggro? That's what I want to know. I want to know how you didn't aggro. How and why, actually. Looking for dots in all the wrong places. There's also a mask here that says Connie and five cat. I will I will maybe try to look. But masks are not my uh, my reason for being here. Dots are. I'm looking for dots, man. Oop. 
I was very lucky, I feel. Oh, and there's a, a nasty, goodness gracious, dude I need a shotgun for. Oh, I missed so bad. Hold on. Oh, damn it. Right, you can't re-enter the hallway once you leave the hallway. Please, please! There's something to be said for silent but deadly, you know? In fact, it might even be better to be silent but deadly. Ooh, except for you. You have to go. Oh, I got a hostage! How do we, how do we, how do we, how do we do this? I don't think the dog understands hostage, though. Okay. There's another jerk coming. Luckily, they don't throw their knives. It would be a much different game if they did. You might come after me. What the? What a... Damn it. Wow. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna die, I guess. I need that. How? Oh, the door blocks. So many bullets! Uh -oh. Why can you not shoot through a door? It's wood! Well, I mean, these doors are probably like very like sturdy. Maybe like heavy metal. Oh my God, I didn't kill him. I do think that maybe uh, up might be the strategy. Oh my god. You had to get up at the right exact moment, huh? <laughs> Jesus. It's like they're aware of me. <laughs> I missed four times. It's okay. I just gotta, I gotta get ready to go again. Oh my God, we did it. They have no idea. They're gonna know. Okay, okay. new gun, three shots. That's good enough. Got him. Ooh. Rude. <laughs> okay, okay, it's the mask. I can see that there's a mask in there now. Also dots, dots, dots everywhere. Dots, dots everywhere. What the heck was that? Please give me a new gun. Get the mask. Hello, I'm Jake. <gasps> It's dude with the uh, green on him. We finally seen him. Stage clear. Now, let's grab the pistol. That's in pretty bad weapon. Let's grab the super shotgun. I don't see any dots. It must be in a different part of the level. We played the sequel. I. We played through Hotline Miami 1 and Hotline Miami 2 over the past couple weeks, and now I'm trying to get the. Uh, the final little secrets that exist in this freaking game. Mm. You know? Oh, Jesus. 
Okay. Maybe just don't throw as much. <laughs> you, yeah, you, you know. What the heck? That was a weird one. Excuse me. Oh, come on. I think the best thing we can do is actually just go this way. Nice. I forgot that when you kill something, you actually put down your gun for some reason. I put down my... I hate that you don't die. I put down my gun, but I don't pick up another gun. Wipe you. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Little fast pupper right there. See him. Out of ammo. You know what? Fair enough. That's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, fire once, fire twice. I got an achievement. Let some air in. I don't know what that means. I see the dot though, so at least I know. We're gonna be able to do that. Ooh. It's always missing one. Okay. I don't want freaking freaking combo. We gotta aim more. Like, do the manual aiming thing. It helps so much. Okay. What the heck? Need another gun. Need another gun. Stage cleared! <laughs> Get me out. Oh, there's a third floor. Nor Pine Prince Live, welcome. Seen any good movies recently? The last movie I saw was John Wick 4. But my uh, friend and housemate has been seeing a few movies lately. Uh, basically, like, every week they go watch another movie. They uh, have said very good things about Bo is Afraid. They enjoyed the Mar Leo movie. God damn it. Oh, Jesus. Just need a gun? <laughs> any, any gun? Any gun at all? Any, any gun at all? Okay, we found the dot. I don't know if we have to actually finish the level. We found the dot and a mask, but we might, might as well finish the level, right? <laughs> Chapter complete. That man was in pain. Oops. That silence pistol gunfight at the airport scene. Um, the thing about the... <laughs> I love the... John Wick, uh, well, I mean, any movie in general, any action movie that has a silenced gun, where it's like, poo, 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 poo. That's not how it works. It's still incredibly loud. But it's always hilarious when it happens, because it's like, no one in the, in the airport or in the subway know what's happening, but it's just a gunfight happening, and you're like, come on. <laughs> the airport scene is so stupid. Which one was the airport scene? There's the, the, there's so many different... <laughs> it is still a loud thud. There's so many different scenes that sometimes I do kind of forget what's what. And where, where, wh which movie, which scene was in. Not in heavy. Deadline. Trauma. Showdown. Final chapter. Apparently there's a dot here. See with the suppressed pistols. 
Which scene with suppressed pistols? <laughs> Killing throws. That's the that's the thing. Well, that had to happen. What the heck? The guy just standing there. I see the dot, by the way. It's literally just right there. Um. I mean, I need I need to I need a new gun. Oh no, I don't. This is the final scene. I remember how to do this. Grab this. Oh right, you gotta hit him twice. I forgot about that. <sighs> then... I forgot what the throw button was. That's the throw button. <laughs> yeah, they're shooting at each other from different levels. That's the thing is, I think that's like John Wick 2, right? No, that's John Wick 1. Right? No, maybe it's maybe it is 2. Throw! Oh my god. Again, keep hitting the wrong frickin' buttons. Yeah. Probably not a good reason to pick up like anything here. There we go. where this is going. I'll spare you the pleasure. Chapter complete. I have apparently no guns. Hello? Hello? What's going down on down there? I'm trying to sleep. Anyone there? Hello? Goddamn phones. I'm trying. There we go. That was two. Yes. Honestly, I, I always forget John Wick 1 because I've never seen the first five minutes of the film. <laughs> I always seem to walk in while it's being played on TV because uh, we own it on Blu-ray. What's causing all the ruckus down there? You're right, that is John Wick 2. <laughs> also, I didn't realize it was an airport. I thought it was a subway. I guess we'll just wait. The top-down scene in John Wick 4 reminded me of this game. Well, see, the thing is, I, I think that uh, that's part of the, the point, is that it's kind of like a video game. <laughs> in that scene in John Wick 4 where it is top-down. Okay, so I don't think we have to keep going because we're done. I think we can go to quit. Then, chapter. Assault, Vengeance, Showdown, Safe House, Fun and Games, Vengeance? No, Showdown. Safe House, no. Fun and Games. Bonus chapter, eyeball, nope. Special chapter, exposed, nope. Prelude, the metro. Apparently there is something in the metro. What the heck? All right, let's do this one. You can get a mask from safe house, says Connie. It's a short level. Well, let's do this one first. Miami symbol. Let's see if we can find this uh, this final dot here. Found it. 
Didn't anticipate there being one here, but there definitely was. Hey guys. Hey! I'm a man with a chicken hat. What the heck? Oh right, we uh... Oh, what the heck? We have to steal the uh, the briefcase. And he says, I love how blatantly tutorial level this is. I mean, that's kind of the point. Where did that one guy come from? I don't know where that one dude came from. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Clunk! Go to car. Should be good. I wonder if you can get out of here without smacking that guy. All right, we speed ran it. We're gonna get a lot of points. Great, B plus. And Connie says there's a mask in the safe house? I think I have all the masks. Drama, assault, vengeance, showdown, safe house, chapter 16. Yeah, I think I got the mask. I got an A plus on that level. But now we can do puzzle. How do you get the puzzle? I guess we have to we have to start a run and then do it. It's a secret mask, he says. I don't want to do the secret mask. Just um load any level. Do you want a safe house? Achievement unlocked, an eye for detail. Excuse me? Did I get it? I'll do your secret hidden freaking level. Wow, you really just, you want to be right there, huh? Alright. Oh! Achievements are a bit wonky, says Connie. This one definitely is. I don't recall a secret mask in this level says A5 CAD. Well, I definitely got the achievement for I for secrets, I guess. Oh, Lord. All right, but regardless, we can go to quit game. I'm not gonna worry about that. Connie can tell me what, what it is. <laughs> he can stop being like, it's a secret. I don't care, just tell me where it is. Chapter 19, resolution. I believe this is what we want. He says it's a squid. Sounds fun. <laughs> this is definitely what it is. We go to puzzle. And then we gotta deal with this nonsense. How do we do this? Pick up. We gotta find the, the secret passcode. So we got the or Thu, one or the other. Feel very like. <laughs> in in elegant with picking these up and putting them back down again. See. Yep, it is doing a thing. We got the puzzle complete. And then tap, 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 tap. What's this? Looks like I need a password to access this computer. Let's try something. Ah, there we go. 
Magic. I see, so that's your game, huh? Yeah, inform me of this, please. So, this is your base of operations, huh? Infiltrating the enemy, how clever of you. You're the jerk fr from Phone Mom last night. What do you want? I looked through your computer upstairs and I thought we should have a little talk about your line of work. You don't know anything. Our system is password protected. No one knows the password but the two of us. I was born in the USA. How the heck did you figure that out? Well, I found a lot of little purple dots scattered around the world as another guy. <laughs> I used a little magic. So let me get this straight. You're nationalist scumbags. You threaten your members into doing your dirty work. And this whole thing is a two-man operation? You could say that, although we like to call, call ourselves patriots. We volunteered to conduct this little experiment by ourselves, but I can assure you we're just the tip of the iceberg. We're setting up operations all over the country. How did you come up with this crazy scheme? Crazy? What you need to realize is that all you gotta do to get people to do what you want them to is to make them think there'll be consequences if they don't. It's a principle our whole society is built upon. So it's okay to threaten people into killing each other? Wake up, man! Don't you see this is a country at war? Fifty blessings is a foundation for patriots. Our members must fill out a form in which they state that they'll, they're willing to die for the sake of our nation. You might remember this. You're a member too, right? And you expect to topple the Russo-American coalition using methods like this? Oh, don't you worry about that. We'll have this country back on its feet soon enough. Give us five years and you'll see what we're capable of. This is just the first step. You'll understand in time. We've got some very powerful people on our side. You know what? I think I've heard enough now. I have no interest in politics. You people have wasted enough of my time already. Chapter clear. I probably didn't need to do that, actually. Um, that seemed a little, a little rough. That was, wait. I want that weird glitch out thing that happened. 50 Blessings, the name of the company behind everything. And we got the, a new mask, a bat mask. I get it. So 50 Blessings is behind this. Trying to ruin the Russian-American coalition through murdering the Russian Mafia. And then we know what happens in uh, Hotline Miami too. Although I won't say it because maybe I'll put this video up at the end of Hotline Miami 1 on YouTube so that maybe people watching know what's going on and or they could skip the video if they don't want to know. Anyways, at least we now have done the secret and we've learned that uh, well, they tell you what's happening in Outline Miami 1, that they are going to try to topple the Russo-American coalition. Although I will say I still don't quite understand what happens in Hotline Miami 2. Because <laughs> that's... Hotline Miami 1 is way more direct. You get a phone call and you go out and murder people. In Hotline Miami 2, it's like... I'm hallucinating, I'm a rock star, and for some reason I'm murdering everyone as, you know, as well. But I'm not getting a phone call regarding it. In any case, hey, secret unlocked. 